I don't want you to think this driver's going soft, but when I say that this car is brand new... Three and a half litre V6 supercharged. Only about 1300 kilograms that car. Now, if you can get power out of the spirit of the cocktail, weight is the stuff that dilutes the car. Not juice. 700 dash at four. Right-hand drive, five litre V8. Hard on the brakes. I think he's just about done it. That one's got 510 brake horsepower. We've had quite a few mods on that. We've got a competition. Axle back exhaust, which gets going to do a cheeky burnout, isn't it? Just toying with us. Of course, the six gen Mustangs do come with a light. Let's go. 
turbo charging to the egg car division. Six of us straight into our cloud of tyre smoke. We'll be turbo charged to get eight more points in the Mustang left. Oh, no. Because it looks black, but when you get close in that sun, it actually turns red. It's the only one in the world in this colour. And the colour is actually Queen in Star Wars dress. So the recognised colour of that one. Uh, over 400,000 pounds of that car. 675 more time to see just what it can do. Uh, most of the fans come with that V8 in the back with two turbos strapped to it. Just look at the rear wing, it hunkered down to reduce the drag and then as soon as we're on the brakes it's lifting itself up to act in the airway. 650 horsepower. You can tell these cars are quick when they're shifting into the here and still being able to stop. Off we go. At low threes to get to 60. Air brakes up, helping it stop in a, such a short distance. You'll be going more than 200 miles an hour in that car. And it's easy to pick is where it all really restarted for 612 horsepower in this one, and of course. Uh, it's in the fastest colour, Volcano Orange. Changes gear, managed to get in third gear there, probably the other cars are trying to get into third, and I've just got nine gears. Mm. And if you think that engine though it sounds familiar, that's because it shares a lot of parts with mm. the program that we saw earlier. Mm. SVR 5 lit supercharged V8. It is one of my favourite supercars though because it could be used every single day. What's the point of having a car that you can't use every day? And although it looks like a ship, it's a slouch. Now the previous generation of or a six had a V10 engine in it from a Lamborghini. It's got two turbos strapped to it as well, but this one is only something smaller at a This one's been remapped, it's got race cats in exhaust and it's got a race there. Supercharger, sports cat, stainless steel straight through to lowered, remapped, and it's got metal on it's off. Awesome. 